Hi everyone. Well, I'm uh, very happy to have my Sony ICF SW55 back um, from Graham, aka Radio Cruncher on YouTube. Um, this radio, actually, I think it was first brought to the market in 91, so it's over 30 years old. It kind of doesn't look it. It does look kind of vintage, but at the same time, still looks quite modern, in my opinion, uh, as the, the, the best industrial design for a shortwave portable. Uh, it's up there with the um, Sanjin 909X and X2, which is sort of widely regarded by many as you know um, one of the best looking radios, if you want to put it that way. Um, Graham's a genius. Um, He's, he fixed my Yaesu FRG7700. Um, when I powered this thing up and realized that it wouldn't go past the sort of calibration uh, uh, setting on startup, I knew something was wrong. I assumed that the electrolytic capacitors had dried up or leaked or both, which is a sort of common issue with Sony radios from the sort of 80s, 90s, maybe earlier. Um, and so Graham, agreed to repair it um, and he so what he did was so he replaced all the electrolytic caps and the super cap I think he used tantalum capacitors better better quality he upgraded the backlight to LED which is I'm really looking forward to because the um, backlight on this radio and the SW77 for that matter is absolute rubbish uh, aligned the crystal oscillator and the BFO and he did all that including shipping for a smidgen over 130 quid what a hero so um he also packed it much better than I packed the radio when I sent it to him. I've just remembered actually, I did actually pack it inside um, a Celestron binocular box. So here it is. Right, um, mine came with the case. It comes actually with the big sort of plastic hard case that's got all the other accessories with it but i didn't bother shipping all that to him um obviously uh right let's get a bit closer so this radio is different to most others in that the, the speaker is actually inside the unit um and the sound comes out through that kind of post box style grill um but yeah for me it's a brilliant radio and one that i've always loved so here we go. A bulk of that material, and that will be available for generations of scientists to come. Brilliant. So one thing about older, high-quality portables is that they work on long wave. Somebody might be looking at the sample. You wouldn't get a signal like that on your XH data D808. Today, and they might make their own new discoveries uh, and help rewrite. So working brilliant. And the one thing I'm really looking forward to is the back, the backlight on these radios. And the um, uh, SW77 is rubbish. He upgraded it to LED. Wow, look at that. That's a bit more like it. It's daylight here. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even see the backlight was on, um, the original backlight, in daylight. It's so rubbish. So, so that's excellent. So I'm really happy with that. The Betty Science Book Prize aims to reward excellent science. So the, some of you will have noticed that this radio hasn't appeared on my channel for a long time. Um... But that's going to change because now I've got it back. Um, I'm really happy. Um, I, I'm i going to be using it a lot more. Mine's actually in pretty good nick. Um, I did actually spend a lot of time actually um, with this radio um, out in the woods and it got rained on and, well, all sorts really. Um, it got rained on. Um, And basically not treated particularly well. I mean, I didn't mistreat it. I didn't mistreat it, but it wasn't. I didn't really look after it. Um, and it's made me realise the fact that it went wrong, um, that it failed, uh, and I missed it. So I'm going to think I'm going to treat it um, a bit more carefully uh, from now on. But uh, So there you go. Sony ICF SW55, one of the sort of cleverest... Um, best design portables, not quite up there in the uh, with the elite, which would include the SW77, the 2001D, etc., etc. But very, very close, and a radio that I have a lot of emotional attachment to. Put it that way, and um, it was always a keeper. When it when I realised it had failed, um, 
I never once thought for a second that I was going to just throw it away, put it in the bin. It's just too good. It's just a shame that Sony don't make them. Not that they don't make them like this anymore. They just don't make them anymore. It's such a shame. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm very pleased. And uh, they got it back. And thank you very much to Graham, aka Radio Cruncher. As I said, check out his YouTube channel. The guy's literally a genius. Um, if you've got a radio that needs fixing, he is definitely your man. So, uh, so there you go. Anyway. Thanks for watching, 73.